Okay, here are your weekly instructions for the week of September 13th through 16th. It's the fourth week of the semester. We're moving along now a bit. Okay, if you're in 1301 or 1302, there'll be two chapter quizzes that will come to you this week. Okay, um, if you're in 1301, you'll need to take the chapters 3 and 4 quizzes. If you're in 1302, that would be the 20 and 21 quizzes. So two chapter quizzes this week. This is necessary because there are just more chapter quizzes than there are weeks available, so sometimes we have to double up. Uh, in the coming week, the week of uh, September 20th through 23rd, there will be, a, in 1301, there will be a chapter quiz uh, plus exam one, chapter five quiz this week. That's next week. Okay, um, if you're in 1302, next week, the week of the 20th, not this, but the next week, then there will be just exam one. Okay, so, um, I think that gets us caught up on that. Now, I've had a, a smattering of reports, and I know for each one who's telling me about this, it's uh, it can be a crisis, and I'll see what the what kind of help I can get from the system administrator. But uh, some people are having trouble getting into Chrome or getting into Honor Lock. I had one report of that. It's probably something simple because everybody else was getting in, and. Um, in 1301, one of my sections, I'm not sure it was one or two because they're set up separately. Um, at least the first quiz, only 10 people had um, uh, webcams that were working. So I can't keep those straight in my head, but I think maybe that's the sort of thing that uh, that we can get ironed out pretty, pretty soon as the semester starts up. Now, another thing, some possible remaining confusion I need to straighten out. Okay, a few people have been submitting, I say a few, I've got I've got enough that'll keep me busy for a while. I'm changing some computers around at my house and the one that talks to my printer is um, <laughs> sitting in a different room and I've got to finish up another project on an older computer and get out of the way. But the new one, that has to happen before I can print out the, the um, um, worksheets bonus worksheets. I expect to have that done this week because next week is the exam and I provide feedback. The way that works is that uh, if you if you email me a scan or a photo of a bonus worksheet and by bonus worksheets I'm referring to the fill in the blank worksheets at the end of each chapter in the supplements book. Those are not assignments they are extra credit opportunities. You get a point for each correct answer added to uh, appropriate chapter quizzes. Now there are more chapter quizzes in both sections I think than there are than there are worksheets. So there will be in 1301 there's 17 chapters and only 14 worksheets so there will be three chapters down the road a bit that they won't get, they will not get bonus points. Okay. Anyway, fill those out. Email me scans of those. I print them out when I get my printer set back up and uh, I score them, I, I uh, add on the bonus points and I send feedback. Okay, if you turn one in, once I've graded it, I email you, tell you which items you missed. I don't tell you what the correct answers are. I want you to go back and find those. But uh, And uh, if there are instances, there are questions where there are more than one thing that would be technically correct. So, if you get any of the things that be technically correct, you get the point. Uh, but what I'll do is is point out maybe the the preferred answer as far as studying. What these are for is that they um, uh, they're there to help you prepare for major exams. Now, in 1301. The first unit has four chapters. You've got Pre-Columbian America, Discovery and Exploration, um, English Colonization, and Life in Colonial America. I recommend not turning in bonus worksheets past that. Okay, hold on to those 
to after, after the first exam because if I get a bunch of these stacked around I could lose them and I can't necessarily guarantee that the points will go where they're supposed to go so we want to keep the confusion factor down as much as we can in 1302 you have um, a chapter about uh, defeat of the Plains Indians and uh, settlement of the interior west you've got um, America and the Gilded Age, a very long chapter, and you have politics and political issues in the late 19th century. Um, I haven't lectured on that in many years. The, uh, the supplements chapter covers that, but stuff from there will be on your exam one. So three bonus worksheets for 1302, one for 1301. I emphasize their extra credit. They are voluntary. They are not, they are, they are optional. Okay. All right. Um, I think we're caught up. Anytime you have any kind of a problem, anytime you seriously need a um, um, a deadline extension, I can do that easily. So just let me know. Let me know what the deal is, and we can take it from there. Okay. Um, there's probably something else I'm supposed to tell you. If I do, I'll email you or something. Okay, that'll do it for right now.